There are a lot of kids that grow up and they don't know what direction they have to take because they are kind of, you know, like ignored. The main reason as why I teach art is like I reflect back to what barriers and boundaries I've crossed to decide to, to do what I am doing right now to teach. Action Africa teamed up with Art Illusion and Chime for Change for this week-long project at our community center. What better of an opportunity than to team up with professional artists from Kampala to show these kids that whatever your passions are and whatever your desires are, that it can become your life and your career. I have a magical rock, and it transports all of us to a special world. This week, we are creating a response canvas mural conversation where it was started by 200 children in New York. It was sent here where it was glued up on a wall and it was the basis for making a response mural. It is essential to be able to build teams of local artists who are half men, half women, who are role models of what's possible when creating public arts pieces around the world. The purpose of this project was to be able to open the eyes and the hearts and the minds of children in New York and children in Uganda to be able to have an exchange where it's able to transform this entire community. This project is, is, uh, is pretty unique. We are letting these kids paint on their walls and we, we the artists, we are mostly at the park, guiding them, watching them. When they walk inside this place, they feel uh, in a sense of belonging, they feel like they're really connected to this, it's, it's really their own. We don't have things like this at school. Kids, women, mothers, dads, they have come here, engaged in the programs like the painting. I really love what I'm doing here. I believe the art, it opens up their hearts, their minds. Before even we start the artwork, we first give them time to relax to think about their thoughts, think about their dreams, think about everything they want to be in the future. Everybody close their eyes and imagine what together, what kind of a world we want to build. I believe that this project is changing the community of Nankuade and the children themselves and even the teachers because the kids are learning from us, we are learning from them. This moment is a, a magical moment for these kids. It's the love they express in their face that for me it tells, it tells a lot. The start of this project was in honor of a student that we lost a few months ago in a car accident. And to have kids in New York hear about that story and want that to be like the focus and the starting point of this project it was so meaningful for me on a personal level, but his family and our staff and the community here. So when you walk in our gate, that's the first piece you see. You see his shining face and it's just a great memorial for us as a community and a part of the healing process. Art has power to transform something into greatness. When you enter into Action Africa, you feel like your visions and your dreams will come true. When you enter the gate, you feel like there is light in this community. 
we have started with my husband to look at our children and see what they really love. I really felt so good when I saw one of my kids, Katrina, painting with some of the artists from Kampala. Kids that come here share a meal together and do art together, dance together, do drama together. That creates togetherness. Even when they leave our gates, you find they're creating friendships out there, bringing more kids, bringing more adults. Our programs, everything that we do here, whether art, whether dancing, whether drama, it touches everyone through and through and creates more and more friendship and we are family.